In the US, there are about 300,000 individuals with spinal cord injury, and 60% of this population are individuals who have cervical level injuries, which leads to tetraplegia. So for them, uh, upper extremity use and hand function is a leading priority. These types of research studies can help individuals with cervical level spinal cord injury improve their health and function over time. Clinicians will be able to better identify what treatment that I provided or that they provided led to certain types of changes in the real world. So those types of feedback that they can receive through this information or through these types of sensors can help improve the rehabilitation they are provided.